What is going on guys, your boy Joey Shake 72 coming to you guys with a video right now. So there is some more news coming out about Deshaun Watson, you know, some connect to, some connection to the Philadelphia Eagles, obviously whatever's going on with this court case, everything like that. Um, I'm just trying to see if this is actually legit. Now, I know WIP put out some news, but this is from Mike Florio. Okay, so obviously the report is Eagles will pursue Watson if window opens. Now, now obviously he's got to get out of this uh you know he's got to get his court date and it's got to go through this whole process and then hopefully um when he's done with it and no charges are filed and, and he's innocent then obviously the window opens for him to go to a roster because i don't think he's playing for the texans another snap so this is from you know pro pro football talk mike florio okay now a league source says the eagles are sufficiently determined to upgrade the team that they would pursue watson if the window opens for doing so Okay, March 22nd, Aaron Wilson, Houston Chronicle mentioned the Eagles is in a bunch of teams still interested in Watson, despite the 22 civil lawsuits pending against him, um, you know, all the other stuff. Now, a huge part of the equation becomes a trade compensation that Texans will want for Watson. Whatever they have gotten for uh, four weeks ago, they don't get that now. Um, obviously, the later it gets with this, the more that the Houston Texans are not going to get the same deal. So obviously, if the Eagles are interested in Deshaun Watson, the longer they do wait, the better the compensation, you know, the, the least compensation they have to give up, okay? And I guess that's a good thing, but is this really true? Are they really waiting? Is, is this the reason why they're getting so many picks? Is this why they're setting themselves up? I mean, is something wrong with Jalen Hurts? Did he, did, is, he, is he hurt? Is something going on? I don't know what the case is right now, but obviously there are teams still putting their ear towards this for a trade. And do I, do I think the Eagles are interested? Do I think they're at least looking at it? Probably 100% they are looking at it. But, you know, the flip of the coin is, you know, you drafted Jalen Hurts in the second round. I know it's it's a it's beating a dead horse just talking about it over and over again. But now with with Jalen uh, with Jalen Hurts, what are you going to do now? Okay, is something wrong? Do we not know something? Is he hurt? That's why I'm saying why is there so much interest in Deshaun Watson? Obviously, the news came out a month ago. It was like well, you know Carson Wentz got traded. You know Jalen Hurts. They want to build around Jalen Hurts. That was pretty much what's going on and then you heard the trade rumors about moving up to three to get zach wilson didn't happen so they traded back and now it just seems like and even mike florio i mean he's not a, he's not a you know his news is pretty good it's not it's not bad i think there's legit interest in deshaun watson but to take on that contract so what i'm thinking is right now is if Deshaun Watson, if he holds a big contract that, you know, to Texans don't want to deal with, obviously, if there's a lot of dead cap, I haven't really checked his numbers, but it's going to be like some type of, um, it's going to be some type of Jared Goff uh, trade to where you're going to pay in draft picks to get his contract off of you. Um, that could be in the Eagles' advantage in this trade for Deshaun Watson. Um, I'm not really sure, but you could do that. You know, so if there is a big contract, you know, they don't want to deal with, you could just give draft picks to the Eagles and the Eagles could take on that full contract and take on uh, what he has there. I mean, obviously you have, you know, Deshaun Watson in the prime of his career and, uh, you know, wants to play for another NFL roster. Obviously the front office, I think, has totally messed him up um, with the moves they've been making between uh, uh, Bill O'Brien before he left and, and, and trading for, you know, uh, trading players for D-Hop, trading D-Hop for a, a running back. I mean, it's just ridiculous at this point what the Texans have done getting rid of JJ Watt. So, I mean, obviously they have to move on from some players, but getting rid of DeAndre Hopkins was probably the biggest thing that really hurt. Really, I mean, probably in, in question with himself saying, what are you doing with this team? What are you, why are you getting rid of your your top, one of the top receivers in the league? I mean, I don't, I don't get it. So I understand what Deshaun Watson's going through with that front office. That's definite. And he's pr pretty much totally done with it. Okay. Um, I really don't know what else to say about it, guys. Like I said, if the Eagles are interested, they would have to do something with that. They would have to do something for that contract. Like, if they want to get that contract off their hands, then they would have to give up some draft picks to the Eagles. Or if it's not a big deal, the Eagles would take it. But they would have to get some compensation back. And the longer this goes on, 
you know, with his court and everything like that, and he comes out an innocent man, then, you know, then you're at a really good advantage now because now the longer it takes for Deshaun Watson to, to be free of this court thing that's going on, the less compensation you're going to have to give up for Deshaun Watson. But, you know, if if his numbers are too big for of a contract and it's going to be cost them too much dead money for the Houston Texans, they would have to give up some draft compensation to get rid of a high number, you know, contract. So I don't really know what it is. I haven't really checked it in a while, but um, I, it's just something to talk about. This is looking like there's there's legit interest here, um, but this is obviously take this with a grain of salt. She just said that at the beginning of the video. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna see what happens here. I mean, is this true? Is this why the Eagles move back in this draft? Are they trying to get you know get more draft picks? I mean, potentially. I mean, they got a first round pick next year, and potentially three first round picks next year and a second. And I mean, they they got eleven picks in this draft this year. So plus drafts next year. It's it's gonna be pretty crazy. But um, it, it's gonna. I want to know what's going on. Like, why is, is Jalen Hurts, is there not much truth in what's going on? Is Do they not believe in Jalen Hurts that much? I mean, I, I think it's all smokescreen, honestly. I think they're just, you know, they're always interested to see, like, about players and, and trying to inquire about players. And obviously, you know, they think of getting Deshaun Watson as a starter and then having Hurts as the backup is, is going to be a really good... I mean, that's what I don't get. I mean, you're going to have Joe Flacco here. So, I mean, at the end of the day, they could release him. Um, but you never know at this point with Joe Flacco and what he's doing. So, um, interesting to see what happens with this. It seems pretty legit. I'm, I'm not really sure. But... Anything could happen at this point. But other than that, guys, let me know. You, uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this. Um, just to let you guys know, tonight I will be doing a live stream around probably eight o'clock Eastern to make up for my time from yesterday because some videos got messed up and um, I couldn't upload anything else yesterday. So I'm going to make up for no content yesterday. Do a live stream tonight about 8 p.m. Eastern, something like that. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about the Sean Watson. Um, is this? For real, is this could this legitly be a trade for the Eagles to get Deshaun Watson here? So um, I definitely want to see if this is definitely uh, is. I mean, and I, I like Deshaun Watson as a quarterback. You know, I'm I'm not like not a fan of him. Like I do like his play style. I like his throwing ability. I like everything he brings to the table. Definitely, but um, we're gonna see what happens. It's gonna be really interesting. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later. Shakes what up, follow slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.